The mic was muted. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, another week, another cup of tea. It is week 11, and we're going to talk about what I was originally going to talk about last week. Um, we're just going to talk about life and how beautiful it is and how quickly it goes by and how short it is and how fragile it is and just how everybody needs to learn how to appreciate it, right? Everybody needs to learn how to appreciate life. I feel like people just just don't. Um, and it sucks. Um, so yeah, let me just say, I say it all the time that I love life. I love being here. Um, I think for the most part, a lot of people do. Um, and some people do, but just don't realize how short life is. And what I mean by that is, you know, I think people enjoy life because they enjoy things they're doing, but you know, they forget that there's other parts of their life that they should be around for. Um, so that's a big that's a big thing uh, we're going to talk about today is just being around. And we've talked about that before. Um, I've talked about that in a, a few videos. I know the most recent one we talked about that was, I think, the Step Family video. Um, but yeah, you know, just being around. Um, and a big reason I mentioned this, why I do these videos is because one day when, you know, my time's here and I'm gone, um, my videos are here for people to listen to and relate to and... And, you know, if, if anything is ever put out there about me or if anybody pretends that they were always around for me and always supported me, my videos are here. You know, nobody can bullshit nothing after I'm gone. My videos are here. Everything's here. Um, so that's a big thing. Um, but also, you know, I make sure and this should be for everybody. I make sure in my life, everybody that I want around me is around me and people who cause me stress, people who cause drama in my life. They're not, um, cause again, this life is too short for people to be ruining your life or causing you stress, causing you drama. It's not worth it. So, you know, to the people out there watching, if you've got any, any family, if you've got parents, grandparents, siblings, cousins who calls you stress, um, or drama, ditch them, man. It, it, it's not worth it. Uh, if you got friends, if you've got friends since college or high school or shit, even a friend since kindergarten, Drop them, man. It's not well, this life is not worth having people in your life that cause you stress, that cause drama, that that there's no need for it, man. Um, and that that's that's it's it's nothing bad. If you if you need to drop people for your own self being, fucking do it, dude. I'm so sick of people making you feel bad because oh, you don't talk to this family member, oh, you don't talk to this friend, but you guys have known each other since so and like who the fuck cares? If you're a fucking dick, if you're a piece of shit, if you're a complete asshole, you're not gonna be in my life. Um, so I think first things first, we should put that out there. Um, just don't allow people to cause stress in your life. Don't be allow people to cause drama in your life. It's not fucking worth it, dude. Um, I also make sure that I'm around who I want to be around. Cause again, when my time's gone or well, my time's here to be gone, that's how I want to be remembered. I want to, I want to be remembered as the guy that was there for people. I want to be, be remembered as the guy that, you know, had people had people over all the time for events had that would come to people's stuff would come to people's weddings parties um concerts um would always you know if you text me i, I text you right back if anybody knows me if you text me unless i'm sleeping if you text me i text you right back um if you call me i may not answer uh either one it's because i just don't like phone calls or two again because i'm sleeping um but if you notice, if people call me and I don't answer, because again, I hate phone calls, I text you right back. Uh, so that's my thing, man. I, it's it's like, yeah, people might be enjoying life, but I think they're enjoying the wrong parts of it. Um, and that's another thing. You know, I've dropped a lot of people who don't text me back. You know, I could text you and you don't text me back, but I see you active on like Facebook or something like that's so fucked up. Um, that's so fucked up. How are you like, you're really just blatantly ignoring me. It's crazy because nobody cares. Nobody cares, um, how they treat you. But then, you know, you, you ditch them from your life. You, you drop them from your friend group or drop them as a family member. And all of a sudden they get all butthurt. Like, Oh, he's not talking to me. They're not talking to me. I didn't do anything wrong. Like you did. There's no, there's no such thing as somebody not doing anything for the other person to drop them. It's just not a thing. Nobody just randomly drops you for no reason. Um, but again, man, it, it, there's no need for drama. There's no need for for any sort of stress in your life. This life is too short. And again, it's something I truly love. 
Um, and with that being said, you know, do what you want to do. If you want to travel, travel. If you want to fuck around, be a hoe, fuck around, be a hoe. Um, if you want to settle down early, if you want to settle down late, if you want to have kids early, kids late, if you don't want to have kids, if you want to have a ton of pets, do whatever the fuck you want to do, man. Um, and that's, that's a big thing with my brand, you know, Black Sheep. Um, cause for a, a great majority of my life, I've been doing what I want to do. You know, I, I used to be so scared. The first like handful of tattoos I got, I was like so scared. Um, you know, number one, I think everybody knew the first tattoo was coming. I I said it for years and years and years. And finally, when I turned 18, I was like, Hey, this is where I'm going to go. This is what I'm going to get. And I remember, uh, certain people were like, "Mm, I I don't, I think you should wait a little longer. And it's like, bro, I've been waiting four or five, six years for this. Like I was talking about since I was a teenager and I was always told once you turn 18, you can get one. Once you turn 18, you know, you can do this, do that. I remember I finally turned 18 and people were like, mm, I think you should wait a little longer. So I remember I got in my car. I went, I got it. Boom. Um, I just remember like the next handful, I, I, I wouldn't tell certain people I was getting them because, you know, I didn't want them to flip out. I remember I'd get them. And I'd be so scared. I'd be like, well, if I post this on uh, Facebook or Instagram and, you know, I get the shit being out of me for it. Um, I get like verbally attacked because of it. I get disowned because of it. Um, I just, I remember I was, and mind you, I paid for a majority of them. Um, you know, my mom did pay for one of the first ones I had. Um, it was like as a birthday gift, but like, uh, again, like I was the one paying for them, but I'll, and it's, it's my fucking body. But I was just so scared. Um, and then after like the fourth or fifth one, it got to the point where I was like, I don't give a fuck. You don't like it. I don't like you. Um, so that's one thing. You know, I, I, I understand and realize how fragile life is and how short life is and how any of us could be gone in a second. So do what the fuck you want to do. I got my tattoos. I got my ears pierced right after high school because I couldn't have them pierced in high school, uh, which I thought was fucking stupid. Um that was the school's rule. Like you couldn't have piercings. Uh, so I remember right after graduation, that same day, right after graduation, I went and got my ears pierced. Um, you know, I was dyeing my hair, different colors, you know, getting looked down because of that. Leaving school, leaving school was a big one. You know, there's no reason why, again, I always talk about how school was just causing me to be the complete opposite of who I am. Um, so I left because again, life is too short to be fucking depressed and to be stressed. Um, so yeah, you know, again, if you want to hate somebody for the decisions they make, um, cool, but you know, don't be surprised when you never hear from that person again. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing. Just, you know, enjoy life, do what you want to do, be around for the people you want to be around. If you don't want to be around certain people, that's completely cool. Um, don't be afraid to drop people. Don't be afraid to distance yourself. You know, I always hear, oh, you only get one family or you know, your, your friends, your friends are your friends. Um, your friends been with you through a lot. It's, it's not true, man. You, yeah, you might only get one family, but that that doesn't mean that family has to be fucking disrespectful to you and treat you like shit, you know? Um, yeah, you have friends, but again, you know, they're disrespectful to you. They, they don't treat you the way real friends should treat you. They don't support you. Drop their fucking ass, dude. Um, yeah, but again, I love being here. I, I, I love life. I love where I'm at. Um, I, I love everybody that's involved in my life. I love all the people that watch my videos every week and listen to this guy just rant and talk um, basically to himself. You know, I'm just in this room by myself talking to myself. Um, but it's cool. I enjoy doing it. Um, you know, I, I support the family that's always been involved in my life, always been supportive um, and the family that's recently been supportive and recently been nice to me. Um, that's my thing. I don't hold grudges. If people were dicks to me in the past and are now kind to me, I'll take it. That's cool. You're trying. It's all right. Um, and with friends, you know, I've, I've had basically the same group of friends for a very, very, very long time. Um, there are some friends that I, you no longer see me with. I no longer necessarily associate myself with and, that, that's my decision um, or it's mutual decisions or even, you know, there's people who have dropped me, which is cool. Um, you know, there's one person I used to be really close friends with in high school. We like always hung out. We were always together in school. And all of a sudden, um, like a year or two after we graduated, 
um one day i realized like oh this dude doesn't text me back this this dude unfriended me on facebook and i think i never actually got an answer on that um of what happened i I didn't care that much um you know if you drop me you drop me it's cool um i i have a feeling it was just political differences maybe he didn't like what i was posting you know politically on facebook or instagram i don't know but um i just i just remember all of a sudden i like i was like oh i haven't seen this guy's updates in a while and i went to go on his facebook and i was unfriended and i was like oh all right um that's just wild man because look i i've got i've got very different political stances as other friends as other family members and i don't i don't I think that's a reason to drop people you know we just don't talk about politics we can be in the same room we can we can respect one another we can hang um so yeah i was kind of shocked when that happened but that's the thing if you didn't like what i was posting if it was causing him stress if it was causing him to be irritated it's cool he dropped me it's fine um you know that's a shame because i was one of my closest friends in high school but again you know whether you were friends in college high school kindergarten whatever the fuck it is if if you don't like what somebody's doing drop them um, but again, you know, I don't, I don't think political differences to an extent. I mean, if somebody's being disrespectful as shit to you because of their political beliefs or religious beliefs, if somebody's just disre- disrespectful to you or others, you know, be, your political stance, your, re- your religious beliefs are no excuse for, you know, being ignorant, being racist, being homophobic. It's not, um, that's that, but we don't need to get into that. I, I try to stay away from politics um in these in these videos because they're for everybody they're for everybody to listen to and relate to and i just feel like if you get political it it it, it kind of ruins the vibe for one side or another so um that's that uh moral of the story in this video is you know enjoy life enjoy what you're doing be there for the people you want to be around and let's end it off with this actually because this is my biggest 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 point i don't even know if i mentioned it in this video yet but like i said a lot of the reason why i do these videos is because i i want them to be here when i'm gone I want people to come back and listen to what I have to say. And maybe, maybe me being gone will kind of open their eyes in this video. Because I, I don't get too specific, but I feel like my messages are right in your face with these. So I feel like, you know, some people might be listening to these, not really know what's going on. And then they might come back to these when I'm gone and be like, oh, wow, shit. Damn. Um, but they're also here, as I said, that I don't want anybody bullshit and that they were always around for me, always supported me, always approved what I did. Because I, I know I know that's not the case. And whenever my time does come, if those people are still around when I'm not here, I already know how they work. You know, I'll be gone and they'll be like, oh, my God, he was so creative. He was so special. He was so this, that, whatever. Nah, homie, I, I said this in one of my first videos. Be here while I'm here. You know, don't wait for me to be gone for you to be supporting me. But, but my biggest, biggest, biggest thing about this video is just remember the way you treat people now the way you treat people while they're here the people you're around for while you're here whether it's friends or family they're going to remember you that way they're going to remember you as the guy who was always around remember you as the guy who was so supportive who who always had their back whatever it is and if you're not around you know they're going to remember you that way they're going to remember you as the guy who wasn't there for them who didn't support them um who never answered their calls answered their texts was too busy doing other shit didn't want to be around um so again if that's how people want to be remembered cool cool um i just know i want to be remembered as the guy who always texted people back always called people back back always had people's people's back always try to be supportive on people's side whatever the fuck it is um always help people when they need help, whether it's through these videos or financially or support or whatever the fuck it is. I know what I'm doing. I'm doing it specifically because I want to be remembered that way. Now, again, hopefully I'm here for a very, 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 very long time because I love life and I love being here. I'm just saying it could be our time any second now. Um, so again, whatever you're doing in this life, that's how you're going to be remembered by your kids, your grandkids, your friends, your family, whatever it is. Um, so I'm making sure I'm doing what I want to do and doing what I want to be remembered for. So that's that. Um, next week, I'm going to talk about a brand that most of you probably remember if you knew me back in like 2016, 2017. We're going to talk about what happened to West Coast. Um, it was a clothing brand I worked with in California. Um I did a lot with, I met a lot of cool people, I did a lot of cool things, and it just kind of disappeared, right? Y'all kind of just, y'all went from seeing me posted all over the place to just 
see me not have anything to do with it at all. Um, so next week, we're going to talk about West Coast. But until then, stay beautiful. Don't judge people. Don't be a dick. And peace out, Girl Scouts.